hey y'all welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video all right today is saturday and we have quite a lot going on so normally we have saturday suppers on saturday but tonight we have something special happening during the saturday supper time okay so jackson is a culinary arts student and he does very well with his culinary all right y'all we had to go to the grocery store at impromptu grocery haul but we had to do it and he's going into culinary three. Probably his teacher thinks he has very good skills. Um, and so he was chosen one of three students to participate in a mock chopped event for a very prestigious place. Parents are not allowed to go because you gotta be a member of the country club and I'm not and so whatever. And so that's in a couple of weeks. Well, because I don't believe in sending anybody anywhere and not be prepared, uh, we are having a mock event tonight at our house during Saturday suppers with the judges and all the things. So we have invited some people to come over and to be with us and to hang out. And um, Jackson's going to do some cooking. And so we had to stop to the store and pick up a few things. I'll show you what we picked up. Some is for Jackson, some is for mom, because we got some garden goodies as well. And I'll um, get those garden things out. Okay, I'll show you what I got over here first, and then I'll move over to the other side. And then I'll uh, show you what we got over there. And I'm gonna make some basil pesto, because we have abundance of basil out of the garden. So I'm gonna do that. And um, so I got a few things for that. And um, we're just gonna hang out until Jackson gets all of his stuff done. Okay, so this is what I got in the haul. I got these two sparkling peach juices because we have some peach concentrate. I'm just gonna make a peach drink for everybody. I needed some body wash. I just got this wild cherry blossom. Jackson picked up some thyme, although I think we had thyme. Um, I picked up some olive oil. Extra virgin is my preference, but this was a little bit cheaper. And so I'm gonna use this for the pesto and Jackson needs that for dinner. I picked up two things of the pods decaf 3.99 that's the best price they've had in a long time jackson needed spinach so we picked up two of those because spinach cooks down a lot there's four judges coming um pine nuts are very expensive so i actually picked up walnuts to use for the pesto and then i picked up two things of parmesan cheese then uh, Jackson got these Honey Gold Bite Size and the Ruby Sensation Bite Size Steam and Savor Potatoes for his meal. I needed some creamer, so I picked that up. And then we needed some garlic for the pesto. I picked up these Honey Butter Biscuits, which I'm going to cook up for everybody that is going to eat. Jackson's cooking for his judges. I'm cooking for everybody else. Well, sister and I, of course. So I picked up those Grand's Biscuits. They're going in the air fryer. Picked up some ice cream. This is the Carb Smart for everybody. I got potatoes as well, but these are regular russets. I'm gonna cut these up into bite-sized pieces. And then cabbage was on sale for 49 cents a, a pound, so I picked that up. Then I picked up some eggs. Now from the garden, we got a ton. This whole thing is basil. I picked up some, uh, uh, got some celery. I'm gonna actually put this in some water. And then these are our Armenian cucumbers. Look how big. Oh my goodness. They got, I probably should have picked them a couple days ago. These things are humongous. <laughs> um, uh, these are just regular sized cucumbers and then some um, sweet banana peppers. I'm actually gonna can the peppers because I have some peppers in here with some pinos. And then I also have another cucumber. This one is actually gonna go uh, that one is bad as well. So I got to use some of this stuff up. My children don't understand that things go bad quicker when they're fresh from the garden. And so I've got to be able to come over and use all of these things up. And I'm going to try to get as much of this canned as I can so that I am using it all up. It's no need to grow things that are going to go bad, right? I'd prefer to use them. I have a couple of jalapenos. I'm probably going to make some spicy pickles and some spicy sweet banana peppers. I'll just use those in there. And then I wanted Jackson to be able to have any fresh ingredients if he needed them. Um, 
we got a couple of big bertha peppers they're not actually huge huge but he can use those if he needs to and then this little watermelon i just need to open this and take the seeds out so i can save those seeds so anywho we got a couple of things that we're getting ready to do and we just thought you might want to come along and hang out with us in the kitchen oh okay all right y'all i am doing the peppers getting these ready to go into the um into the jars now i'm looking at this and i am not sure that that's a banana pepper the tag says banana pepper but i've been seeing some people um on TikTok with yellow jalapenos that looks more like a yellow jalapeno to me but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna pickle it. It's not gonna matter. I'm doing all the things. We've got the basil all plucked now, sister. Okay, I think I went back out and picked more basil cause we didn't have enough. And I'll just be able to make a small batch of the um, pesto, but that'll still be fine. And I'm just gonna get all these um, peppers chopped up get them in do the brine and then i'm gonna water bath can them for 10 minutes in the water bath canner so i'm trying to do all the things in the kitchen i need to do before it's time for jackson to do stuff so that's what i'm doing why i'm uh kind of racing the clock a little bit if it seems like i'm moving quickly i'm trying to um be out of the way by the time he needs to do whatever it is that he needs to do okay. and our time is getting shorter and shorter because we have people coming over at six and it is just a little after it's about quarter after three okay all right y'all i'm gonna get these all finished chopped up and i'll bring y'all back when i'm ready for the uh pesto All right, y'all, so I've got my brine done for the peppers. It's nice and vinegary. So I'm gonna get that into these jars. I'm gonna debubble them in a minute. going to get some uh, brine together for some bread and butter pickles because I had some cucumbers. grab a um, butter knife knee bubble real fast to make sure Tiny 
tiny little one. If I can have somebody do rims and lids for me here, that would be good. I gotta get these bread and butter pickles going. Yes. I can do. Oh. All right, I'm gonna need one cup of vinegar. Jackson, hand me that vinegar up there. I need a cup of apple, I mean a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Can I have my cup, sister? I just found a recipe online for this. So that's what I'm using. Um, I don't have brown sugar, so I'm just gonna do white sugar, and that's calling for a cup doubling this liquid because I have a, quite a few cucumbers. So I'm doing two and a half because I don't have brown sugar so I'm just going to substitute white sugar. It's all work out in the wash. Okay, that's in the vat. The next thing I need is salt. I'm going to use pickling salt. Hopefully, it'll keep my cucumbers nice and hard or at least firm, mer, than what they might be otherwise. And I got this from Walmart. Good granny. It is hard to open. I need for salt. I'm gonna need mustard seed and celery seed and tuna. Mustard seed, celery seed I have, so it calls for one and a half teaspoons of mustard seed. So I don't have nearly enough of that, but it's what I have. Okay, a whole teaspoon of celery seed. And then I'm gonna need a fourth teaspoon of turmeric. So the only thing I didn't have a lot of was the mustard seed. I'm going to be okay. okay. Alright, I'm just going to give this a little stir around to melt that sugar. 
let that come to a good boil and then we're going to fill up those jars the brine we can keep if we need to until I can get a few more cucumbers and I actually have this big one right here that I can still cut okay. All right. while I'm waiting I'm just going to clean up a little bit and start working on my pesto Right, I'm just cleaning up as I go. It just makes sense to me to try to clean as you go. That way you're not dealing with a ton of cleanup later. And I'm done with all of my measuring utensils. I won't need them again. Water's getting nice and hot in here. Table Alright, this is taking way longer than I had planned, but I didn't plan the best. So it is what it is, right? Jackson's not on until six and he's cooking the meal as people are here watching and waiting. I'm going to be doing my part of what I'm going to be doing. So I'm, I'm just prepping my stuff ahead when it's time for Jackson to be doing things. I'll be somewhere sitting down. All right, my first time making pesto, so I'm going to make it do what it do. And I'm not canning this, so I'm not using exact measurements. I'll put you guys where you can see. So I've got cheese, Parmesan cheese. I've got three cloves of garlic I'm gonna put in here. I'll put the cheese in in a minute. And I'm gonna put the um, nuts, cheese. Okay. Basil leaves, pars uh, I'm not using parsley, Parmesan cheese, walnuts, garlic, oil, salt and pepper. In a bit, I'll drizzle in some olive oil. One thing that's very true, basil um, bruises easy. All I did was wash it. Parmesan cheese in.
Okay, I'm gonna see. Oh, okay. My brine is boiled. I wanna go ahead and get these cans in the canner. So I'm gonna stop this for a second, get these pickles taken care of, and then I'm gonna go back to the basil. Can I get some lids? Now I'm using Armenian cucumbers and regular cucumbers, pickling cucumbers. I'm hoping I have enough. These are all Armenian cucumbers in this one right here. 100% Armenian cucumbers and one in the first one I did as well. The other one I had to mix it with regular cucumbers. It looks like that made just enough. I'm gonna debubble these, and get some lids on them and put them in the canner. Alrighty, y'all. So there it is. We're all done. Jackson, tell us what did you think of the experience? What did you learn? What are you gonna do differently? Anything? Um, uh, I guess I'd have to plan ahead a little bit more. I was a little bit kind of okay. Tell me. Oh, you looking rough? All the things that you learned from last night's event. What What are some thoughts here? Is something about your eye? Better. Your eye is swollen. I don't know. What in the world? Maybe a bug or something. How would a bug get in here to bite you? Your whole eye is swollen, bud. Don't touch it. Take a Benadryl. What? Did 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 did? Possibility. Boy, what would you do differently? Come on now. Keep, do different, change, save. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'll keep my 
five menu plans. I think you should change that. Uh, probably change the order of how I do it. Um, Gotta have sauce. Sauce. Lots of sauce. I work on a presentation. Work on a presentation. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> All right. Anywho, thank y'all so much for stopping by. We hope y'all liked the video. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye now.